for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code POODLE at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And first off, I want to thank you guys for all the support. We are at 705 subscribers now. So the goal is 1,000 by tonight. And at the latest, 1,000 by tomorrow. And I think we can hit it, which is crazy because I'm pretty sure we were at about 230 less about a week and a half ago. We were at 330 about four days ago. So our channel is, it's funny because it took me two months of grinding to get to those numbers and I was so excited about them. And now I've double, I've literally doubled more than what I had in a few days, not even because of just how well the videos have been doing. So before I get into the video, first things first, everyone watching this, it's probably gonna be a lot because right now I don't know these, these methods are going up a lot. So everyone watching this, drop the sub, drop the like, drop the comment. There's still 300 spaces left in the before a thousand squad. There's 300 spaces to fill out. Once, once you're not before a thousand, you know, five years from now and I have all those subs, you can't say I was here before a thousand. So everyone watching, go sub. And second, I got a like goal for you guys. So my girlfriend is right to the right of us right now. And she, I wanted to be in the video. She doesn't want to come in because she's being awkward. So she said that if we get a hundred likes in this video, she'll be in the next video. So get us to a hundred likes. Everyone watching this, go drop the like. You have to see what Miss Poodle looks like. She's she looks embarrassed right now. Anyways, first thing, let me get into the video. So as far as the market goes, I if you guys didn't listen, you guys should have watched the last video. If you didn't, you missed out on some valuable tips. First, first theory was everyone sell Michael Vick right now. He's going to drop in price real soon. The market can't hold up on him. He's way too much money. The market cannot hold up. He's going to drop soon. Probably before Saturday, he's going to drop. And during Saturday, he's going to crash. And I hope you guys sold him for 900 k Because he is 689 And dropping. He might go back up tonight to maybe six, seven. You could probably you could maybe sell him for 700 Maybe sell him for 800 tonight. Maybe 800 if you're lucky and you wait. But I hope you guys... How much is Nick Foles going for? I hope you guys sold that Michael Vick for the price I said because he's dropping. I'm contemplating buying him right now. But maybe I'll keep, I'll keep waiting because he's got to go down more, right? If you got Vick right now, don't sell him now. Now it's too late. Wait until this one sells and this one sells. You maybe could sell him tonight for about 800K, 750K, but this is really low compared to what you had him for. I told everyone, sell him now. Do not hold on to him. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys, you guys sold him. Now what this video is really about it's about, I'm going to give you guys some snipe filters to be able to get some money today because there's not really any methods right now, but I can, I can give you guys some ways of making some coins before this Saturday when I believe the market will crash. Now, where do we go? So ultimate legends, I'll start with that actually. So what I was going to start with. So these ultimate legends are about 379. So these ultimate legends right here, they're going to drop this Saturday. I've been telling you guys that. So definitely sell them now. They're going to drop. I feel like, I don't know, I have this feeling that this weekend, they're going to go down a lot when those packs drop. So get rid of them now while you still can. That Michael Vick, like I said, is currently going down as we speak. And Lawrence Taylor, 789. He was about a million coins the last video I did. I'm telling you, get rid of these cards. I saw the Lawrence Taylor is going to still be more expensive, but he's going he's gonna to keep coming down too. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Now, if you want to snipe these cards, I would leave this at about... This filter alone shows everything. 98, 99 Ultimate Legends. So you actually don't have to filter these out. You just go to newest. And you just sit here filtering these. This isn't really going to be a filter video. It's going to be just like... I'm just kind of explaining the market. And I'll toss in a few filters for anyone that needs to make some coins right now. But that's about it. It isn't easy, it isn't easy enough. Probably the best one if you got coins. But I'm just trying to explain the market right now. So... If you got any of these 98, sell them now. Do not wait. You're going to regret if you wait. You're going to lose a lot of coins. I'm happy I got nothing to sell. Because... It's gonna come down. I mean, I could obviously make money off it if I did have it, but I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to do that right now. These, these are coming down too. I told you guys sell these too. These are at 240 base this weekend. I'm, I'm I've been saying they're gonna hit 180 to 190 this weekend. There's no doubt on that. They're gonna hit it. Look at this. Let's look at this LT right here. If you sort by Chargers, 240. Kellen Winslow 250. This this L this LT. If you could, you could probably snipe this out if you can for like 210 and resell them back for like 250. Later. That's not a bad deal. Or even Kellen Winslow. Personally, I would get rid of every Ultimate Legend card I have right now. Now, I'm going to title this actually a coin method because this is a coin method. It's called sell your entire team. And wait, because this we're at the point of Madden where literally every day that passes, you're losing value on cards. Just, training is dead. So months ago, you didn't have to worry like other Maddens about selling your team because training was training kept the market up that you never have to worry about losing too much value. 
but training's dead. People care less about training than they used to. These cards are slowly go. This this card's like the old Maddens, right? One day the 300, one day the 200. It's like the old Madden. This Madden card stayed within a good 30 to 50k range of where they should be. They never really moved too much. But these cards, the markets keep going down and down. I recommend selling them. You gotta sell them. And this is why this is why this is a coin method. Sell everything you have of value, and within the next few weeks they're all gonna go back down. They're gonna go down from probably the Saturday, and then you rebuy, and then you sell and you rebuy. This is gonna be the coin method for the rest of the year, to be honest. I got the one for you this Sunday with the Chris Johnson. I like got the other video I had. You want to get the training up, the training power up for the new cards. And then you got sell your Vic, which I hope you guys listen to because it might be too late for that already. And LT, I said. Now, is Danian Tomlinson and this Ray guy, and this Javon Curse, this Outwater, this Mike Allstott, all these guys here. Get rid of them. It's not worth holding on to. These cards are going to break 180. I'm telling you. This Saturday, they're going to be at 180, at 190 at the peak of the morning when the cards first drop. I'm pretty sure they'll be dropping packs this week, and they, they usually do. So when that happens, it's going to be at a peak, and they're going to drop. And then you could probably get them back for 180 and then resell for 240 And then you made 40 k a piece. If you have like a few million coins that you spent on these cards, you can probably make back a margin of a few million right back. So I highly recommend you do that. Now, if you go to the lower ones, these probably haven't moved as much, but they, they, they definitely move, but not they don't move as crazy as the upper ones. They kind of stay. They, these are more like a training piece, per se. People don't really touch these. They're all going down, though. These are gonna go down too. If you have any of these cards, sell them. You can probably get these back for like 95k to 100k come Saturday. Then you resell for 115. This method right here that I'm telling you guys, right now for this weekend. I don't want to hear you know that's not a method because it's just selling cards and then buying. No, no, this is a method because this weekend specifically with the this is the second weekend of a, a Vic and LT. When Vic drops, the market shakes. I'm telling you, Vic's dropping and other cards are dropping too. Vic determines this market right now, and so does the LT. So sell everything. Now, if you sell everything, let's say you make back a million coins, you could probably buy everything back for 800k. So you made, think about it, you made 200k. So think about it this way. Let's say you had a million coins worth of cards, right? You sold them all for a million coins, right? You made your money, a million coins. Now, you buy all those cards back on Saturday when they're all down 20%. You buy back for 800k. Now what happens? You have the whole same team with 200k more. It's a method. So it's literally a method. You just made 200k. That, that is the best way. In my opinion to make coins and that is literally the best way in this game to make coins in my opinion working the market there's no better way this is the most risk-free way because packs are risky you could spend 100k and make back zero literally make back nothing this way you're guaranteed because it's it's simple it's simple it's simple madden economics this weekend the market's gonna be shot you're gonna sell everything you got and you're gonna return back a profit of about 25 percent of what you made or what you put into it so Definitely sell what you guys got right now. And like I said, you're going to comment, should I sell this guy? Should I sell, should I sell this guy? My answer is going to be different for everyone because if you have them powered up ready, don't sell them. Unless it's the top piece, but like powering up kind of sucks because you want to, you're going to take them off, right? If you have chems on them, don't even touch them because you might have sprint on them and stuff without powered up. Now you're going to take all those off. Second, if you have them powered, if they're part of a power up chain, kind of sucks too because you could take the top card off, but to take a Vic off his top power up card is probably going to be like, what 25k 30k so again you have to lose 30k and then they are more expensive so it's not it won't hit you as hard but they're part of a power up and you like me you just want to have a good team you don't you're not, you're not trying to make too many coins right now for yourself then just keep it but definitely sell if you just have them in your binder and you have a team and all you got is long like go deep on it just take it off put them up and your chems do stay actually if you put them up on the block and then take them back off that you can put them right back on so it doesn't hurt them too bad like that now we go down a little bit these cards are kind of irrelevant, so I'm not really going to go down any further. These cards can't really go much cheaper than they are. We got we, we pretty much just focus on these higher tier of cards. That's pretty much it. That's a really cheap Calvin. Calvin's even going down right now a lot, so... This isn't this this market's about to crash bad. It's coming soon. And the thing is about this, right? So, let's say you have a 95 overall team, right? It's worth a million point five k million point five coins, right? If they're training, ignore this. But if they're not training, they're just cards. You could sell that back, right? For a million point five coins. In a week or two, when the market crashed even worse, that was, it's like um, th things are getting cheaper and your coin currency is not changing. So your 1.5 million could have gotten you a 95 overall team. Let's just say, let's just say, don't 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 critique me. Say, oh, that's only 92, whatever. A 1.5 million coins could get you a 95 overall team. If you sell them now and you wait two to three weeks, that 1.5 million coins could probably get you a 96 overall team, 97 overall team, per se. Let's say, or it could just help you increase your already over. You know what I'm saying? Selling Vic and LT now would net you about 1.4 million right now, right? Now, in three weeks, when you could buy Vic back for 450k and Lawrence Taylor 500k, 
that's 900k but you have 1.4 million you subtract that and you get 600k 500k so now you have 500k and vic and lawrence taylor as compared to having no money and vic and lawrence taylor you know what i'm saying so this is the best coin making method in the game so this weekend you got i added another one for you guys so this weekend you got get the power-ups you got get rid of vic and lawrence taylor there was sniping on saturdays specifically when the packs come out and there's sell your team that's about it for this video. I mean, I don't really got to keep explaining this anymore. Just get rid of your players. It's not worth keeping on to. I, you don't understand. My team, My if I didn't hold players in my team, if I did not hold players, my, my team would be worth over 20, 20 million coins. Easy. I took Calvin and I held him. I held him for about a month now. He is worth 350K. I got him for 800K. Odell, I got him for like 580. I got him out of the pack technically, but like I, I, I bought him. For like 580 and then i ended up getting him out of the pack and i sold my one but i was 580 this card when i when i originally originally did it when i got this barry i did it with training and training was a lot more expensive back then uh these linemen were all like 600k when i got them randy moss again the training was more expensive jamal adams was 600k like this now all these cards are half the value half the price it's crazy do not hold on to cards if you don't have to i have to because they're powered up I'm kind of lazy to be honest, but don't hold on to these cards. So that's about it for this video, guys. So before I get out of here, don't forget, go down below, comment, like, and sub. And 100, did I say 100 likes or 150? I don't remember. Reference the beginning of the video for that. But whatever it is, my girlfriend will be in the next video if you guys can break that like goal. I believe it's 100, but 150 is even better. So do that too. And um, everyone watching this, blow up this video and let's get us to 1,000 subs by tomorrow. Tonight, very low chance, but it might, it could happen. But tomorrow seems a bit more realistic that we hit a thousand tomorrow or the next day after that. So let's go for that. Everyone watching this, drop the sub. We have 300 and no, we have 200, like 90 spots left for the before thousand club that you guys could say years from now. I was here before a thousand. So whoever wants that, there's a little there's limited space left in the club. So that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.